exploring the phrase to live under a rock. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English idiom, to live under a rock. This phrase is quite common in everyday conversations, and understanding its meaning can help you grasp the nuances of the English language. Let's explore what it means, its origins, and how you can use it in your conversations. The phrase, to live under a rock, is used to describe someone who is unaware or ignorant of common knowledge or current events. It suggests that the person is so isolated from the world that they might as well be living under a rock. It's important to note that this expression is usually used in a playful or teasing manner, and not meant to be taken literally or as an insult. While the exact origins of the phrase are unclear, it's believed to stem from the literal idea of being so isolated from society that one is oblivious to what is happening in the world. Rocks, being natural barriers, symbolize isolation and separation from the outside world. Over time, this concept has evolved into the figurative phrase we use today. To help you understand how to use this phrase, here are a few examples. You haven't heard of the latest movie? Have you been living under a rock? I had no idea they were getting married. I must have been living under a rock. In these examples, the phrase is used to express surprise at someone's lack of knowledge about a popular topic or recent event. It's important to know when it's appropriate to use this phrase. To live under a rock can be used in informal conversations, especially among friends or people you are familiar with. It's best avoided in formal settings or when speaking with someone you don't know well, as it might be misunderstood or taken the wrong way. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, to live under a rock. We hope this video has shed some light on its meaning, origins, and how you can use it in your daily conversations. Remember, learning idioms is a great way to enrich your understanding of the English language and sound more like a native speaker. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video.